Bruce Lee did a lot of thinking for himself, didn't he? Hello, everyone. This is Dwight Woods, the Jeet Kune Do Rebel, and welcome to the I Love Jeet Kune Do broadcast number 212. This is the one about critical thinking in and about Jeet Kune Do. As you're logging in, if you'd be kind enough to say where you're logging in from, hit the like button and feel free to continue doing so throughout the broadcast. Hello, Terry Valor. Uh, if you're catching the simulcast over on the YouTube, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell as well. If you enjoy my work and you'd like to support the program, please visit jkdrebel.com. Click on the Rebel Gear link, and that's where you'll see stuff quite like this. The uh, JKD, the four tenets of uh, G Kondo t-shirt, sweatshirt. I understand they're having a problem with hoodies. Uh, coffee mug and what have you. I will look into this uh, over the next few days and see if I can get all of that straightened out. But of course, the best thing you can do is to share this video and spread the word about the I Love Jeet Kune Do broadcast. All right, so let's see who's on here. John Nasir, Steve Juman. Hey, Bo Jackson, hello. Pe hey, Pedro Rodriguez, Lance Lamont. All right, guys, thank you very much for, um, for checking in. So whenever i bite off more than i can chew with a broadcast topic um sometimes i'll open up with the dictionary definition if appropriate so here we go um this is the dictionary definition of critical thinking the objective analysis and the evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment now that sounds simple enough I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 13, 14 words, right? It sounds simple enough. And we know that simple is a Jeet Kune Do directive, a Jeet Kune Do guideline um, coming straight from Bruce Lee, right? One problem I frequently encounter in the Jeet Kune Do world is with that part, the part that says objective analysis and, eval and evaluation. Um, there are some extremely, um, noisy Jeet Kune Do people, right? Who are not at all objective in their analysis and evaluation of the art, science, and philosophy of Jeet Kune Do. Not at all. Instead, they focus, they, <laughs> perhaps even unknowingly, they focus on the last part of that definition in order to form a judgment. In fact, they are really good at that, the judging of others in Jeet Kune Do. So being Dwight Woods, I went looking for another definition, and it wasn't hard to find, to be honest, right? It says this, critical thinking is the intellectually disciplined process of actively and skillfully conceptualizing, applying, analyzing, synthesizing and or evaluating information gathered from or generated by observation, experience, reflection, reasoning, or communication as a guide to belief and action. I'm scared to count how many words that is, but it is significantly more than the 13 or 14 of the other statement. So you look at those two, one simple, the other one certainly not as simple a definition, but it is certainly more descriptive, more complete, perhaps even more informative. So my question for you is this, in which version of the activity of critical, critical thinking do you believe Bruce Lee engaged? The one which rushes to judge or the one which goes through the process that includes observation and experience. I mean, this is the guy, right? Who, when laid up with a horrendous injury, he turned that downtime into what ended up being, I, I wanna say for us who came about later, I don't know if it was as productive for Bruce Lee himself, as it has been for people like me and you, right, in the decades since his passing. Um, but ended up being the most productive period. 
because we ended up with all these um, written resources and what have you. When, when you read what Bruce Lee wrote, you can't help but be impressed by the depth of thought that went into just about everything, right? From his early college essays, um, his, I, I reread these just recently, his writings about, about Chi Sao, about Zen, about the art of combat, just about everything. So there's ample evidence for critical thinking in Jeet Kune Do. That is the critical thinking of Bruce Lee. But I'd be remiss if I didn't briefly touch on the lack of critical thinking about Jeet Kune Do. That is from people who have lived past July 20th of 1973. So classic example, we have people who think that if Bruce Lee didn't come up with it, right? If he didn't come up with something during his lifetime, then it is not real Jeet Kune Do. So as my new good friend, Lee Arroyo pointed out, that's quite like saying that the 13th amendment to the US constitution is not real because the founding fathers didn't pass it. So as I was finishing up my notes for this very broadcast, there was a post about the seven volume uh, Bruce Lee's commentaries on the Marshall Way, right? Most impressive series of, of notebooks. But once you get past being envious that you don't own them or and, and that others do, you remember that, again, quoting my new good friend, Lee Arroyo, the history of Jeet Kune Do is a continuum, not a single point in history, right? So because you have a quantity of Bruce Lee material, typed, written, collated, edited, not edited, right? That does not mean that you automatically know how to think about what it is that you possess or how to put it to its best use, right? Never, never. Did I say never? Never underestimate the power of Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do when it is used not as a set of fixed rules, but as a mirror for self-examination. Okay, so what say you? Let me, guys, you guys pretty much know where I stand on this. Let me hear from you what it is that, um, that you think about this uh, in the comments below. That's all I got to say in this video. If you like what you heard, comment, rate, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter at Dwight Woods and on Instagram at Dwight D. Woods. Um, quick heads up. So I've started emailing the list for Jeet Kune Do success strategies. I'm looking to set up a Zoom conference to discuss, uh, to discuss um, your most pressing issues that you might be having in your Jeet Kune Do training, in your Jeet Kune Do teaching, whatever. So email me at jkdrebel at gmail.com and just put jkdss as in son of Sam. <laughs> JKDSS in the subject line to get the details. Uh, coming up on Friday, January 21st, reverse Jeet Kune Do dialogues with um, GN of uh, Paolo Rubio of Aperture Fight Focused and uh, Funker Tactical. That'll be Friday at uh, 6 p.m. Today's a purple day. There you go. All right. So I'll see some of you hopefully on Friday at six. If not, I'll see you back here next week for another issue of the I Love Jeet Kune Do broadcast. Until then, this is Dwight Woods, the Jeet Kune Do Rebel. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Talk soon.